Good evening and welcome to the Staffs Worcestershire Canal. You could be watching this video at any time of course, but for me here right now, it's a Saturday evening at home today. Work in the morning, couple of hours on my website at lunchtime, a little bit of a nap in the afternoon and watching something on YouTube as well. Some old television programs from the 1970s. Catching up on sleep, get up, have some food, and then come fishing for a couple of hours. So variety is the spice of life, as they say. I'm fishing with worm this evening over red maggots. No clues what the target species is. And hopefully I'll have some of them to show you during the course of this video. I've just cast out and I'm yet to have a twitch. Having said that, we're talking about uh, two minutes, that's all that the bait's been in the water. I'm off the mark with a perch, size six hook, as you can see there, right on the edge of the mouth. That's very important. Don't let the perch take the bait down, otherwise you'll need a disgorger. One of those things that you always take with you, still lively, it was lively in the water, lively out of it. Still one of the things you always take with you, but you hope that you never need. I mentioned the hook, so before I cast out again, let me show you my setup. Very simple, and if you do watch my videos on a regular basis, then you'll be familiar with this. Four pound Maxima Chameleon, right the way through to the hook. So therefore I've created hook length with a shot, a bead, and above that a free running one eighth of an ounce lead, that's about six inches, and the hook, a Drennan Super Specialist micro barbed size six. Worm on the hook, a big worm on the hook, that's why I've upped the hook size from my usual eight or sometimes ten. And then, as I've already said, loose feeding red maggots. I'm in a swim that hasn't been chopped back, fortunately, well the whole section hasn't been attacked yet, so the vegetation on the far bank has grown, overhanging bushes, overhanging trees, perfect, ideal, and of course it's now the end of the day, so lots of boat activity, we're in the school holidays now, but they're all, hopefully, maybe one might pass through, but they're all hopefully tucked up for the night, and I can have a Good session after perch. Second fish of the session, slightly larger than the debut one, and again, cleanly hooked right outside or right on the edge of the mouth, the way it should be when you're perch fishing. I've had lots of small fish so far, nothing big, all perch. I think the biggest that I've had would have been the second one that I showed on the camera, but just now the rod tip went as it does when the perch picks up the worm. I struck into it and it was significantly larger than anything that I've caught on the session so far. Unfortunately, within four or five seconds, I had a hook pull these things happen. I would have liked to have caught that one and lost the others, but I've still got about 30 minutes to go. I haven't had any boats through at all and very unlikely that any will come through now at this time. So, perch o'clock is what I'm about to enter for the final 30 minutes of the session. Just small perch, but I've enjoyed this session very much. And as I so often say, that's what it's all about. Great couple of hours, very peaceful on the Staffs Worcestershire Canal on a Saturday evening. What more can you want? I don't have comments box activated on YouTube videos. Nothing sinister, purely a time management thing from a media perspective, but the blog entries because the video forms part of a wider blog entry on my website. You can comment on there, so why not head across, check it out, and also 
other things on there apart from just a video but as I also say on many occasions out and about yourself tight lines I'm well I can always get that last casting can't I so unless I do catch something significant this will be over and out from me